Hi, fifth graders. I have to say that I really miss you guys, all of you and every each one of you. Um, it's been a long time that I haven't been able to to yell at my students, and you know, if I can't yell at my students, what kind of teacher am I, right? <laughs> um, I'm also getting a little tired of making videos. I wish I could teach you face to face um, and watch you play. Some girls said they enjoy the more recess time at home. Um, yes, that's for sure. You have more free time. Your time is more flexible. Um, yep. Um, enjoy the, the flexibility and I'm so glad that everyone is doing a good job. I think you guys are maturing in arranging your time, managing your time, and doing more independent learning. Um, and it's been, it will be more weeks that we can't see each other, um, but we can keep up, uh, we can push through, push through the end, to the end. Um, I am really hoping that I could see you guys soon. All right, let's start math. Things for today is actually quite simple. We have been practicing a lot on it. So the lesson is called volume of a rectangular prism. And our goal is that you can use the formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism or a cube and solve some word problems involving volumes of rectangular prisms. Um, in the other practices, this is what we've been doing. You have a rectangular prism made of unit cubes and you, find, you figure out the length, the width, and the height by counting the number of unit cubes. And then you, you do multiplication of these three numbers and find out the volume, which is actually the number of unit cubes in it. Um, in, in this lesson, from this lesson on, we are not going to be given rectangular prisms that is um, that include that has unit cubes. We are going to have questions like this. You have a rectangular prism and you're given the length and the width and the height, which is actually easier because you don't have to count. So based on what we have been doing, uh, we have been learning the volume would be length times width times height. This is the formula of the volume of a rectangular prism. Um, I put it in big letters like this. Um, if you want to save time, you can write L times W times H um, instead of the whole word. Um, sometimes, instead of being given the length and the width, you are given the base, the area of the base. Because we know that the length times the width would be the area of the base. So if you are given the base, the area of the base, you can write the formula into volume equals base times height. In, in letters, you can write it B times H. So V equals B times H. For a cube, it's the same thing except that uh, length and width and height are the same thing, which is edge in a cube. So instead of writing length times height times width, you write edge times edge times edge. Um, what you can write is E times E times E, or I don't know if um, if this is how Western math is, is um, done, if this is Western math way. What we used to write is um, E cubed. Yeah, that's, that's in, in Chinese math. Um, you can also write E times E times E. Um, same thing for a cube. If you are given the base, instead of edge and edge, you can write B 
B times H. V equals B times H, base times height. Right? V equals B times H. Um, when you solve problems, um, if you are given the all uh, the base, I mean uh, length and width and height, I would like you to write um, steps like this. You don't have to write this part. No, you don't have to write this. Um, but I do want you to write the formula and all the numbers and the answer. Because today when I graded your homework, some people didn't write steps and I didn't know what suggestions to give. Um, same thing when you get base and height. You write um, V equals B times H and then you write the numbers and then you write the answer. You don't have to do the top part to save you some time.